The electrification revolution directed by electric vehicles has taken center stage in the area of sustainable transportation. Leaving little room for other options. Rutas focus on hydrogen engines raises controversy and challenges the dominant narrative. After exploring the world of EVs and Toyota's different approach, what would you say if I question you? Is Toyota's focus on hydrogen engine technology a bold step forward or a misguided diversion from the EV revolution? The EV revolution is subjective and depends on one's perspective. Some see Toyota's emphasis on hydrogen as a pioneering move that offers long range and quick refueling benefits while others argue that the growing popularity of electric vehicles makes hydrogen a less efficient and costly alternative. Ultimately, it's a matter of differing opinions and ongoing debates in the automotive industry. EVs emit a lot of carbon in comparison to an EC engine-based vehicle, and the resources extracted from the mines for making the batteries of EVs would deplete quickly, which is why Toyota believes that the hydrogen fuel could prove to be a game changer in the future. And this is why Toyota even manufactured a car based on hydrogen fuel cell, Miraya. Despite repeated tries, however, this car was not approved by the market and Toyota was unable to escape with hydrogen fuel. Toyota is not just focusing on the fuel cell electric vehicles like the Mariah. They are also developing hydrogen engines which generate power through the combustion of hydrogen. These engines have undergone modification from traditional gasoline engines allowing them to emit zero carbon dioxide when in use. But what makes them even more exciting is that incredible responsiveness, providing a thrill-driving experience for enthusiasts. The highly flammable hydrogen technology that Toyota learned with the FCEV fuel cell electric vehicle, the Mariah, first needs to be stored in a strong armored fuel tanks, stronger connecting rods, harder valves and valve seats and fuel injection made for petrol rather than liquid are added to the engine. The gross S2 concept can accommodate five passengers and their belongings, much like the regular Corolla. Toyota and Yamaha Motors have teamed up to build a V8 engine that runs on hydrogen, which is wonderful news for all the gear heads. Toyota has tasked Yamaha Motors with creating a 5.0 liter hydrogen fueled V8 engine. It's a minor component of a large agreement between Japan's automotive community to investigate and develop fuel options for internal combustion engines. Of course, Yamaha and Toyota have precedents. The former created the legend 4.8-liter V10 found in the Lexus LFA supercar. You have to admit, while it may not be the most exciting part of your day, filling up your gas-powered ICE vehicle is not a difficult process because hydrogen is a gas rather than a liquid. Filling up a car with it is just as simple and takes much less time to complete. If you ever had a propane tank filled, you know how quickly the procedure will go. Filling a car with hydrogen in the new Toyota Yaris GRS2 only takes one and a half minutes. Far faster than it would Toyota Camry to fill up with unleaded petrol. One of the most common issues with EV cars and trucks is noise. Nothing compared to the thrill of depressing the gas pedal on an old classic muscle car, such as a 1970 Chevrolet Chevy SS with a large block 454 or a 1969 Ford Mustang with a 428 Cobra jet. When an automobile is about to launch, you may hear the sound of a carburetor opening as the fuel pours into the chamber. Feel the power flow through your chest and experience a complete burst of adrenaline. EVs cannot provide it, but a hydrogen power vehicle can because it operates similarly. Toyota's approach to carbon neutrality is more diverse, considering many technologies to accomplish the objective of zero emissions. In contrast to practically all other automakers who are placing their entire faith in electric vehicles, this mindset looks more and more prophetic because European nations are seeking ways to reduce their energy use due to the conflict in Ukraine and its effects on energy supplies. Love what you see? Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to join our community.